Texas won't have a Starship launch monopoly forever, as SpaceX has slowly but surely begun the process of building Starship's first Florida launch pad, including preparations for the off-site assembly of a second skyscraper-sized launch tower. With plenty of previous experience at Starbase, can SpaceX beat its own record? A launch tower was built in less than 13 months. It's crazy, but no less exciting. Hang on there till the end of the script as I provide you with all the latest updates on the progress of Starship's first Florida launch pad. But before we dive in, promise me you won't forget to subscribe to our channel for more similar insightful videos about SpaceX, Starship, and other relevant stuff. Without any delays, let's get started in today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX is assembling a launch tower for Starship's first Florida pad, and this isn't the first time. Back in late 2019, SpaceX began work on a Starship launch pad located at NASA's Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A pad, which the company already leased for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches. By the end of the year, some of the framework of the Starship launch mount was already visible and parts of a giant water-cooled thrust diverter arrived in early 2020. However, work on the pad effectively halted around the same time and entered a state of limbo, as SpaceX redirected all of its Starship program to South Texas. Only two years later did activity finally return. Musk revealed the restart on December 3, 2021, and within a matter of weeks, the remnants of the old Starship launch pad, now outdated, had been scrapped and removed, returning the site to a more or less blank slate. And now the company is mostly focused on preparing foundations. However, in early February of 2022, a flyover of a different SpaceX KSC facility revealed the first clear signs of preparation for pad hardware assembly. While unassuming, the small sets of square foundations recently constructed at SpaceX's new Roberts Road Falcon Storage, Refurbishment and Processing Center are virtually identical to the foundations where contractors assembled the first Starship launch tower in South Texas. Each completed section, measuring about 12 meters long and wide and 18 meters tall, was then transported a few miles by road to the launch site, where a crane would stack them. Roberts Road happens to be located about 7 miles, 11 kilometers away from Pad 39A. With a single paved, well-maintained road optimized for wide and tall loads standing between them. It's clear, in other words, that SpaceX will build Pad 39A's Starship launch tower at its Roberts Road facility and transport the sections to the pad for assembly. More likely than not, to avoid the regular disruption of Falcon launches, SpaceX will do the same with virtually all transportation pad hardware including the tower arms and launch mount. After just a few weeks, the main building has all the new framing work done. What's interesting, we see this new super thick circular base with an internal diameter of around 12 meters with an outside diameter of 15 meters. Besides that, a lot of rusted feet have been moved to the square foundations. The first time we saw these rusted feet was at Boca Chica, used for the Starbase facility's tower. They are not just used in the construction and leveling of the individual tower segments, but also in transporting each tower segment to the ultimate location of the launch pad. And next to the frames that will be used for the tower construction, you can see steel beams which are very similar to the crossbars used for the Starbase tower. Obviously, construction is going very quickly. And huge thanks to Fariel for capturing these amazing photos. All things considered, it remains to be seen if SpaceX will truly replicate Starbase Boca Chica at Kennedy Space Center. The new Starship factory will represent a block upgrade with a wide range of improvements and refinements. Aside from that, SpaceX is working to convert a pair of oil rigs into sea-going Starship spaceports. The aerospace company purchased two oil rigs and named them Phobos and Deimos, like Mars' set of moons. On February 28th, one of the vessels was seen navigating through Isla Blanca at South Padre Island, Texas, located less than an hour away from the company's Starbase facility. The Deimos spaceport appears to be heading closer to the Starship launch site. According to Gav Cornwell, who has seen the port's manifest, Deimos is navigating from the port of Brownsville to the port of Pascagoula, Mississippi for retrofitting. Soon we might see both vessels undergoing modifications at the same port. SpaceX plans to build a super heavy class launch tower on top of each oil rig. 
The tower will be similar to the one at the Boca Chica launch pad that is capable of stacking the Starship atop the 230 foot tall booster as well as recovering the rocket ship. Because the launch system will be very noisy, launching from a spaceport at sea far away from cities will be the best option to conduct frequent trips. Besides launching astronauts to the moon and Mars, SpaceX plans to use Starship for hypersonic Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel. The incredible endeavor will require having sea-going spaceports that can move around the world to serve multiple point-to-point -point destinations. Imagine traveling aboard a Starship and arriving anywhere on the planet in under an hour. According to Musk, the first Super Heavy Class spaceport will operate in the Gulf of Mexico near the Boca Chica Beach launch pad. Musk said in May of 2021 that the ocean spaceport Deimos was under construction for a test launch in 2022. Notably, SpaceX has just confirmed that its ninth launch of 2022 was a success, meaning that the company has now completed nine orbital launches in less than nine weeks. Right on schedule, a Falcon 9 rocket li lifted off from SpaceX's Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A pad at 9.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, March 3rd, carrying 47 Starlink version 1.5 satellites to a low Earth orbit slightly higher than past missions. Afterward, the rocket's first stage, the B-1060, successfully landed aboard drone ship Just Read the Instructions returning the ship to service after more than two months of downtime and simultaneously completing its 11th orbital class launch. Following in the footsteps of B-1058, which completed its 10th and 11th launches in just 39 days, B-1060 spent just 43 days between its 10th and 11th launches, meaning that there's a chance that both boosters could complete their 16th, 17th, or even 18th launches before the end of 2022. On average, SpaceX aims to launch at least once a week, which is 52 launches in 2022, leaving plenty of opportunities for the fittest boosters to push the envelope. Fittingly, Starlink 4-9 was SpaceX's ninth launch in less than nine weeks, leaving SpaceX firmly on track to accomplish its goal of launching 52 or more Falcon rockets this year. SpaceX is already preparing for its 10th launch of the year and a Falcon 9 rocket is reportedly scheduled to lift off with Starlink 4-10, likely another batch of 47 satellites no earlier than March 8th. SpaceX will launch at least one more Starlink mission in mid to late March. The focus will then shift towards SpaceX's first private Crew Dragon astronaut launch to the ISS, which remains on track to lift off on March 30th. And that's it for today's episode. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. And don't forget to tell us what you thought about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. And as such, if you enjoyed today's episode, please give us a thumbs up. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time. <laughs>